What's up viewers and welcome to another episode of Cheers Reviews. I'm your host Jimmy and today we're having a Mustang Bass Shootout. In the red corner we've got the Fender Player Series Mustang Bass and in the blue corner we've got the Squire Classic Vibe Mustang Bass. There'll be a variety of categories that we're going to run through today which I find important when I'm looking at a bass. Jumping into specs we've got an Alda body on the Fender Mustang Bass and a NATO body on the Squire Mustang Bass. For those that have watched my review on the Squire Bass would know that NATO wood is also referred to as an Eastern Mahogany and appears in quite a few models across the Classic Vibe range. Both bases have a maple neck with a Powerferro fretboard on the Fender and an Indian Laurel fretboard on the Squire. Both are 30 inch short scale bases with a vintage style precision and jazz bass pickup on the Fender and a single split coil Al Nico pickup on the Squire. Online I found that most commonly the Fender Mustang bass goes for about $1,029 and the Squire Classic Vibe Mustang bass goes for about $579 Aussie dollary dues. Both of these bases have been at the Cheers Reviews headquarters for quite some time so I'm really keen to see which one comes out on top. So, let's get into it. Round one, feel. Each of these bases come out of different factories on different sides of the globe. The more expensive Fender Mustang bass comes out of their factory in Mexico, which typically makes pretty good instruments. The cheaper Squire Mustang bass comes out of the Squire factory in Indonesia, and most recently I've been very impressed with the quality of instruments that are coming out of that factory, specifically in the Classic Vibe range. For me, I find that the neck finish on the Fender Mustang bass is a little bit dry and doesn't feel as comfortable as a thin glossy neck on the Squire Mustang bass. Something worth noting too is that the fret edging on the Fender Mustang bass is quite sharp and I feel like this would be an easy thing to address before leaving the factory floor. And look, putting the faults of the Fender aside, the Squire absolutely feels fantastic and for that reason takes the win for this round. Round 2, Versatility. The good thing about both of these basses is that you can get a variety of tones through the volume and tone dial on the basses and they're both quite responsive to the way that you play. In saying that, neither of them are particularly good at slapping so I probably wouldn't recommend either of these basses if that's the type of playing that you do. The biggest difference in versatility is that the Fender has a precision and jazz bass pickup opening up a whole new world of tonal options. You can flick through from the neck to the bridge and even both pickups at the same time. It's a win for the Fender Mustang bass. Round 3, Sound. Without much further ado, let's see how they sound. Let me know which one you liked better in the comments below. Although each bass sounds quite different, I personally like the sound of both of them for different reasons. Squire certainly sounds more reminiscent of the original Mustang basses and has a really, really warm character, especially if you start rolling off that tone a little bit. It also has plenty of sustain, and that's likely due to the string through bridge. But in saying that, the Fender has a much more defined, richer tone, and I do like that you can switch between the different types of pickups. It's a tough one to pick, but I'm gonna have to give this one to the Fender Mustang bass. Round four, value. Mm -hmm. 
Both of these bases are reasonably priced for what they are. If we're looking at dollar for dollar, the Squire is hard to go past. The materials are good, the build quality is good, it has a string through bridge, and honestly has been so much fun to play ever since joining the Cheers family. But the Fender is more solid, and it uses better quality materials and tone woods, and overall sounds excellent. I think if I was looking for a touring weapon, the Squire might be up for the challenge, but the Fender would certainly fare better. In saying that though, the Fender is almost twice the price of the Squire, but is it twice the base? Probably not. So for that reason, I'm giving the win to the Squire Mustang Bass. Final round, look. I think we can all agree, both of these basses are beautiful. Personally, I really like the styling of the Mustang Bass and feel like Fender and Squire have both nailed the styling cues and available colors in both of the models. For those that have been following the channel would know that I love the gloss tinted neck on the classic vibe range, and I think it really sets off the whole color scheme of the bass. And on top of that, the Squire is a solid tip of the cap to the original Mustang basses. In previous videos, I've mentioned that although I love the PJ pickup configuration, I do think that the full-size pickups in the small body look a little bit strange, and I still can't quite look past that. But I know that we can all agree that it doesn't look as bad as the Fender American Performer, which for some reason uses both types of pickups. And that, my friends, is not for me. The Squire Classic Vibe Mustang Bass is a really, really pretty instrument. And Squire hasn't altered the already perfect proportions and design of the original Mustang Bass. And for that reason, for me, it's an easy win for the Squire Mustang Bass. So, in summary, I've chosen the Squire Mustang Bass for feel because of its glossy neck and smoother fret edges. Versatility, I've chosen the Fender because of its awesome PJ pickup configuration, which as a result, the Fender has also snagged the win for the sound. I've chosen the Squire for value because it's nearly half the price of the Fender and I think it's still an awesome bass. And finally, I've chosen the Squire for looks because of its original stylings and it just looks beautiful. And there you have it folks, the winner for today's shootout is the Squire Classic Vibe Mustang Bass. And of course, everything we spoke about today is purely subjective, and believe me, you won't be disappointed if you do decide to choose either of these basses. And thank you so much again for coming along today and checking out these two awesome Mustang basses. And if you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up. It's how I know that I'm doing a good job. If you want to see weekly bass-related content, smash that subscribe button down below. And if you liked any of the music from today's video, you can find that on my other page, Maybe Sitter. I'll leave a link in the description below. But until next week, take care, and I'll see you next time.